Records. I've been hanging out with my man D. My man JMJ passed and we kind of put it away a little bit, but hanging with D backstage was fun just now, man. I mean, like, you really felt the love, D, for real, man. I felt the love. I felt accepted, Mr. McDaniels. Felt like old times. I kept leaving, going hanging with him. He's like, why is Joe following me around? I love you, man. <laughs> like, y'all saw me on TV and my family and Woo! Ron's house with Diggy and Russy and my wife and all that. Yeah, I was on that reality thing for a minute, but you know what? My DJ Jam Master J. Jam Master J, I said. My DJ, Jam Master J. I said, my DJ, Jam Master J. He got killed on some, on some senseless violence. Bullshit! He got murdered, and, um, you know, um, me and D back then, we was like, you know what? Let's just don't do it no more, you know, like, cause that Jam Master J to tell the truth was everything to us. He was a, he was our whole band when we first when we first started doing shows with people like Marvin Gaye and the Barcades and the Gap Band. We used to come right on big stages like this, and they would be like, "We're gonna pay this much money. Where's your band?" And we were like, "There he is." And JB standing there, young. Little like, I'm the band. And they're like, I don't want to pay that type of money for some term people act. Because they didn't know what hip hop was. They was like, what is this? And they was upset that they had to up all that Skrilla for some turntables. But once they saw what Jam Master J did, and Marvin Gaye and all of them was watching us grow and grow and grow and grow until this thing called hip hop became monsters. We started making records stuff like, it's DJ Run, DMC, rocking without a band. Band, band, band. We had to let them know, we ain't got no band. It's these two turntables, and they didn't understand what it was, but like I said, when we finished doing what we did, shit just kept getting bigger and bigger and better and better until they had to respect it. But you know what? I brought Jam Master J's kids out here. They're both incredible DJs, so Jam Master J's spirit still lives on through his kids. Yeah, I want to know, now you did that set by yourself. I want to see if you can really handle what your dad would have did here. D, come in. You sure you can handle this jitter? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Eager little beaver there. <laughs> Here we go. Jam Master J's son. Jam, okay. One for the money, two for the show. Jam Master J. Down. <laughs> Oh, my God.